In this video, we'll show you how to take apart, clean, install a rebuild kit, and reassemble your Pure Aqua solenoid valve. Our valve technician, Steve, is here to demonstrate step by step. Before you attempt to work on your device, always remember to remove power from the valve. Taking the coil off before removing power can cause the coil to burn out. You'll see just by loosening the nut on top here, the coil can be removed easily. Next, we're going to loosen the bolts on top of the body. On a 3 quarter inch valve, these will be standard screws. The 1 inch valve, however, has half inch size hex bolts. Once those are out, the top of the valve body will probably be stuck in tight. This small notch on the side can be used to help open it up. Once it's open, the first thing to check for is any scaling or buildup in the stem itself. That's this top part here. The rubbery part is called the diaphragm and it sits loosely in the body. The next thing to check for is this small orifice in the center of the diaphragm. Any buildup or debris on this or the stem can cause the valve to malfunction. Last, you want to check this bottom area for any sand or grit. This is called the seat and it's where the diaphragm sits. It needs to be completely clean so you can use a Scotch-Brite pad or something similar to clean it if needed. If you're repairing your valve using a rebuild kit, you'll receive a new diaphragm with spring, and an o-ring. The new o-ring replaces the old one on the top half of the valve. Simply pop it out and put the new one on. The new diaphragm sits in the seat just like the old one. When you're ready to put the valve back together, line the top half up with the bottom using this rounded area as a guide. Now you can put your four screws back in place. These are standard O-ring seals, so there's no torque spec. Tighten them until they're snug without over-tightening. Next, we're going to reinstall the coil. Slide the coil on first, then the washer, and then the nut. This is a 9 16 inch nut. Again, tighten it until it's snug. And now your valve is nice and clean and ready to go back into service.